Hey, what's up? It's your boy Abe from Life by Abe coming to you with another video. Today, I want to talk to you about culture shock. What is it? What are the stages of it? And how to overcome it? And at the end, I'll share my personal story with culture shock with you. All right, so culture shock. Culture shock is, according to the Oxford Learner's Dictionary, I'm paraphrasing here, but it's a state of confusion or anxiety when experiencing something new. Mainly when moving abroad to a new country or even moving to a new city, you can experience culture shock. The five stages of culture shock, what are they? So stage number one, called the honeymoon phase. Uh, this is where everything in your new location, your new city, your new country, even your new job is fantastic. Nothing can go wrong. This stage, you're just exploring, you're learning, you're seeing all the new things and just enjoying it. Stage two is going to be the negotiation stage. Now, stage two is where everything tends to come crashing down all around you. Uh, this is where you start to find things to be irritating and annoying. Uh, you may have some struggles and uh, you, you, the way that you would deal with them normally will not uh, work in your new environment, in your new place. So that's stage two. Now stage two can last however long you let it last. Uh, that one's completely up to you and how quickly you're able to adapt. And that goes into stage three. Stage three is the adaptation stage. Uh, and this is where you're starting to adapt. You're starting to make small adjustments to your life. Uh, you're starting to figure out the new way of life. Maybe you've asked some questions to figure out things, but uh, you're starting to understand it a little bit more. Uh, maybe you speak a little bit of the language um, and understand how to navigate your new surroundings. Four is going to be the adjustment stage. And this is where you're completely adjusted or 90% adjusted to your new surroundings. You understand things, you speak a bit of the language, you feel like you're, you know, maybe one of the locals. If a friend came to visit you, you'd be able to take them around, show them around, and uh, give them some pointers on what to do, what not to do. And once you reach the stage, you start to feel like you're a local, like you belong there, you start to gain a, a sense of pride of the city or town or country that you're living in. Now, stage five, not everybody gets to stage five. Stage five is going to be first culture shock. And this is, you're thinking about going back home or you've gone back to your home country or your old job or uh, you move back to your old city. And this is where you've forgotten the way of life, how things work, uh, the little details of it, the nitty gritty, and now you're readjusting to that. And reverse culture shock is a real thing. I personally haven't experienced it, but I've talked to many of my friends that have. Uh, and it's also the reason why if you've lived overseas for an extended amount of time, going back to America can be kind of shocking and takes some adjustment and uh, you'll go through those, those first four stages again. How do you overcome culture shock? How do you get past it? Uh, well, step one is understand. Understand that you are going to have those emotions. Understand that you are going to uh, run into issues when you uh, when you're overseas, when you're adjusting. Make sure that you understand that you, these emotions are normal and it happens. Step two will be to start studying. Study about the culture, the past. Study uh, the way of life so you can understand better and have a better understanding and be able to navigate easier in your daily life as well. All right, step three will be find a piece of home. So whether you brought it with you, you know, like your favorite snack or, or your favorite smells or your favorite blanket or pillow or whatever, your favorite stuffed animal, something that's gonna help you relax and something that's gonna help you to assimilate and just uh, maybe something to absorb your tears when you're crying at night, whatever. Whatever works, uh, as long as it's something that you will find comforting, uh, that will be helpful. All right, step number four is get out and socialize. Uh, practice the language that you're learning or practice your social skills. Meet friends that can help to teach you about the country that you're in, about the new culture, about your new way of life. Uh, they can help you avoid pitfalls and help you move forward in your, in your daily life and doing things. Uh, that's crucial, that's critical. Uh, and it's not always easy, but if you're able to make the adjustment then and make friends 
your time there will go by so much easier. And step five, step five will be get out and explore. Get out and see things, do things. So like I'm exploring now, I'm not really experiencing culture shock, but I'm hanging out in a park. Um, yeah, it's in the middle of the city, but it's, it's a chill spot. It's nice and quiet. It gives me time to reflect and, and get away and film this video without too much noise. All right, uh, so those are the five steps and those are my five tips on how to overcome culture shock. I told you I'd tell you my story of culture shock and how I dealt with it. So back in 2018, I left sunny San Diego to move to Abiko, Japan. The company I was working for set me up with an apartment, set me up with a house, set me up with everything. So I thought I was going to be great. Uh, they didn't need me for the first few months and I, I knew this going in. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to explore around Japan, see some cool things. And that's exactly what I did. I'm just so glad that I got to do that and I had that time to myself. Uh, fast forward a few months to when I did start working. This is when reality stuck, uh, came back and struck me again. I, uh, I wasn't able to adjust as quickly as I thought I would. Some of the things that I found interesting and quirky before now became irritating and annoying. Uh, so I struggled with that for a few months and then I said, you know what, I'm not gonna let this defeat me. I had made a plan to move overseas and I was gonna live abroad for 10 years and I'm still in that time period and I'm enjoying it so far, um, but I wasn't gonna let my first year, my first few months uh, determine the rest of my, my time. So I decided to look for advice from other people, people who've done this before. And uh, I stumbled across a book uh, that was being talked about, talking about Japan and living in Japan. By, uh, by this person who'd been living there for like 10 or 15 years. Um, I read the book and it just took blinders off and it helped me to better understand uh, the life in Japan, better understand the way of life and the way of living and, and have a better understanding of the culture and history. Uh, with that, I was able to then adjust. Um, after reading the book, I figured out that the life in Japan just wasn't for me. Um, I wouldn't fit in there and I didn't want to be miserable. So I decided I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to leave, but this time I'm going to learn from my lessons and I'm going to do a little bit of research on the way of life and the culture before I go. And, uh, so I did that, made the plan and I ended up uh, moving to Vietnam where I am now, but I did have other options on my plate and I weighed them all out and I had job offers in different countries. But I decided that after doing my research, that those areas weren't going to be uh, beneficial for me. It's not something that I wanted to do. So that's how I ended up here in Vietnam. If you found this information helpful, if you found it useful in any way or just entertaining, please do me a favor, hit the like button and it will help me to make more content and know that I'm doing something right. Uh, two, if you want to ask me a question about anything, drop it in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to, to respond to you there. And if you want to see more of this, please hit the subscribe button as it will help and I'll hit the notification bell and I'll tell you when I do stuff. All right, until the next time. Love you guys. Travel safe. Peace.